Hey, what's up guys? Jason over here at Cockyer Farm and we are planning our fall garden. I'm a little bit late because we've just been so busy and just I got this push back behind but better late than never with especially since the temperatures are so much warmer now it seems like. I mean it's October and 80 plus degrees so I think I'm gonna be okay. Um, what I'm planting today is is stuff that works for us. What I always do is is I've learned don't plant too much stuff, variety of stuff, because we're so busy here that I don't have time to baby it. So plant what works for me, and what I'm planting really is collards and kale. Now the collards I'm planting are the type called Alabama Blue. It's an old heirloom variety that we love. And then I'm gonna plant red Russian kale, which is so easy. And I think I'm gonna throw some carrots in the ground since I got these left over. Our favorite of all is Cosmic Purple. Um, I got some dinosaur kale that's left over and I'm probably gonna do some cilantro too. New thing I'm planting this year is a, um, a yellow potato onion which is a perennial onion that spreads. We're gonna plant these. I'm excited about these. These are spread and they're perennial so I don't have to plant over and over and over again. And I think next year I'm gonna try the Egyptian walking onion too and then I'll have two beds of onions and we'll, we'll eat on those all year. So let's get started. What I'm gonna do is get out of that sun. My, my beds are full of composting material. I've dumped everything that's or you know that can be broken down and turned into compost from leaves, shavings, chicken manure, um, chicken feathers, whatever I got goes in my beds. So they're pretty rich. But I will, like on my onions, I won't put some bone meal in it because that's good for root crops. And then I may sprinkle some blood meal. And then on my greens, I put a, you know, maybe a handful of organic blood meal on them too, because that's high in nitrogen and the greens will like that. Your bone meal is gonna be your phosphate, which is, which is gonna be better for root growth, but it's a slow thing and the root crops really benefit from the bone meal, but you can throw it. It's organic stuff. The blood meal you may have to watch out for because it's 1200 typically. And that high nitrogen, which is not, that's not super high, but you could burn. But stuff like organic bone meal, I mean, this stuff slow, slow breaking down. It's like six, six, six or something like that. That didn't sound right, did it? Are you the devil, a demon, leprechaun? Sorry. But right now I'm preparing my bed for the onions. Um, I'm not gonna till these raised beds soil is pretty loose we've had a dry spell so it's a little bit dry and raised beds dry out quick anyways so i'm just gonna get my um my fork loosen it up throw some fertilizer on it some organic meal and then i got this little garden weasel and i just mix it in with it it's, it doesn't get but probably an inch off the top don't want to disrupt all that's going on and plant them onions First. Now the onions from my research are perennial onions two to six inches apart because they're going to spread and you want to plant them so they're just the tip is uh, sticking out and then we'll probably mulch it with some leaves or pine straw mulch I got going on right now because it is fall and water it in and that's it and fingers crossed it we'll get us some onions but the potato onion what it'll do is it'll just keep multiplying it'll just bunch out that's what's exciting about it i can break those apart replant and then eat this bed right here got some really loose soil and it'd be perfect for carrots, so that's what we're gonna do here. Our favorite carrot is Cosmic Purple. It's got a little spice to it. Does not taste anything like your typical carrot you get in the grocery store. Super good. It's a little bit slower than a normal carrot, but the flavor is great. The thing about carrots are they're really, really easy. My biggest issue with carrots are bowls. So, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I'm gonna try to figure something out. I may set some kind of trap but, um, but I'm going to plant carrots. I'm going to do the same thing with the carrots. Take my fork. 
just loosen the soil up with it and then just level it all out and just sprinkle the carrots on top. Water them on in. Easy. Carrots done. Now, time for the kale. My favorite variety is red Russian. It's tasty and man, it is so easy to grow. Super easy. Again, same procedure. I'm gonna get my fork, loosen the soil up. And on my red Russian kale, I got so many seeds. I'm not gonna plant in rows. I'm just gonna fill this whole bed with seeds. And, cause we'll eat a lot of it. I mean, we, you can eat it. We eat it just like you do collards. I mean, we'll take a big pot and, and cook them down and eat them like collards. I'm just gonna fill this whole thing up. And since we have a lot of sausage this year, there's a lot of sausage and kale dishes out there too. So I want a lot of kale, a lot of kale. All right, so I'm fixing to mix in the bone and the blood meal, and I'm just gonna just cover, just sprinkle seeds all over this bed, and this kale will come up and fill this bed up completely. The bed is slap full of earthworms. Leftover dinosaur kale. Not much. Probably 10 seeds, but they're going in. Now we'll just water this in. We're ready to go. Last thing is is my Alabama blue collard. And I gotta find a good spot for them. Some of these beds has got fairly fresh um, compost on it. Don't want to use those because it hadn't broken down enough to my liking. We're going with this bed. Um, no fresh compost in here. It's a big bed. So this will be perfect. Perfect for the collards. Same thing, I'm gonna fork it and then I'm gonna put some uh, blood and bone meal on it and then mix it in and just these seeds are so small, so you don't have to plant them. You just put them on top of the ground. Collards in. Last but not least is cilantro. We love cilantro, my favorite herb. Um, here in Alabama spring and fall it's really the only time we can grow it it's just um just gets too hot here and it shoots the seed and bolts real fast so we're gonna go ahead and um get some cilantro in the ground just pull back the mulch and cardboard that I got in here and same thing I'm gonna fork it throw some uh, organic blood and bone meal down and plant some cilantro seeds and you'll do these a little bit different because cilantro seeds are actually a pretty nice size seed so you just make your little hole it don't have to be perfect eighth of an inch deep between a quarter and eighth of an inch deep and it, it, it should come up don't get too carried away about depth at least i don't i mean you wouldn't plant it two inches deep because it's not going to come up but you know if it says spread them six inches apart two foot wide listen just do what's best for you and how much room you got and don't don't worry about over that kind of stuff but we love cilantro here and that's why i'm gonna plant i thought about planting one row but uh we'll see i may plant two rows See, I just dip, just made me a little trough, just shallow, just guessed, and just dropped them in every few inches. That should be plenty, but I'm tempted to plant one more row. I mean, the worst scenario is 
is we don't eat all of it and the chickens and pigs get it or chop it and drop it back in the bed. What's up, Peachy? What's up, big girl? <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And what are y'all planning y'all's fall garden this year? Um, I would love to know and love to know what your experience is with, um, with what you plant. Uh, leave it in the comments below. And, then, and and if you like what you've liked the video today, give us a thumbs up. Share us with your friends and family. And as always, guys, y'all have a wonderful day. We'll catch you on the next one. Y'all be good.